Hello! In this tutorial, I'll show you how to add phaser effect to your voice audio on Audacity. So the first thing I'd like you to do is to launch your Audacity application. So some persons might be wondering, how did you get the application pretty much simple? Launch any browser of your choice, head over to Google. Just go ahead and search by type Audacity. It's going to take you to the official website. For the on-screen instructions to download after download and install, once you're done finishing up with the setup, it's going to take you to this fantastic home page of Audacity. Now you can explore a lot of features to have a fantastic time right here in Audacity. So now that we're here, let's learn how to add phaser effect to our voice audio on Audacity. So the phaser effect is that effect that adds this, you know, this kind of delay, that kind of delay frequencies and then bring them back to normal and then delay them again and then bring them back to normal. It just kind of delays the sound or the, the frequency in a particular phase and it just makes the sound really beautiful. So if you want to add the effect to a segment of your audio or all the audio, I'm going to show you how to do it right away. So because this is a voice audio, then we have to record a voice audio, okay? So if you want to import, by the way, head over to file and then, you know, click on file, click on import, and then click on audio, and then you'll be able to import. But then we want to record voice audio. So that means head over to the top left corner of your screen, and then you're going to see this red circle. Click on it and then record. Hello! This is Basic Value Channel, and then we're bringing the best of the best of the best, 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 best to you. Just as the name implies, it is Basic Value Channel, and we're bringing the best basic value to you in this tutorial. Stop! So go ahead and click on stop, and then we have a voice audio now. So we can now apply this phaser effect to any part of the audio. So to me, I like to... um. I like to add the effects to a segment of the audio and not just all. Okay, but then if you want to apply to all, just go ahead and click on the audio. This is the audio. Double click on once you double click, it has been selected, so you can now add the effect. But now I just want to put it in a part, a particular part of this audio. How do I do it? So go ahead and click on the left. Click on that. So once you click on that, okay, so well, just um hold down the left corner of your mouse, left click. So once you left click, you're going to see the slider and then you're just going to draw it to a part of the audio that you want. Let's say I want this particular audio, this segment of this audio to have the phaser effect. Head over to the top corner and then click on effect. So once you click on effect, you can see an extended menu. So here we have um, volume and compression, we have fading, we have this, and then we have the EQ. Okay, so we have the noise removal and then we have the delay and reverb we have this distortion and modulation we have special we have spectral tools so head over to distortion and modulation you're going to see an extended menu again that has um, distortion phaser tremor and all of that so just go ahead and click on phaser and now that you click on phaser you're going to see this menu pop up for you so you can now tweak this to whatever you want so these are the stages of the phaser let's leave the stages to stage two phaser all right and then dry and wet okay so this is how how do you want the place to be dry or wet so you're just gonna have to determine this frequency if you move it towards the right you're increasing it if you move it towards the right um towards the left you're decreasing it so they just leave it at the medium awesome lfo frequency all right and then this is a start phase as well so let's say we're just gonna move this here and then then the lfo start phase how, when do you want um the how do you want the phaser to start like when it starts how do you want it to be what's the frequency what's the degree what's the amount so let's just move it that and then the depth of the phaser this is 100 percent i think that's cool if you want to increase it to be deeper that's fine and then this is the feedback and kind of feedback do you want to hear okay and then output gain and we're just gonna have to increase it now it's super sweet because in audacity you have the luxury of previewing all the settings so once you have um adjusted all of this you can now preview to see to he to see if it sounds like what you want so once you preview it you're just gonna have to listen to that part to see how it sounds so once you keep previewing and then you see that just keep sliding keep sliding keep adjusting keep you know um moving the slider 
and keep reviewing until you get exactly what you want so once you listen to it once you listen to it you click on this preview you're gonna see the difference in the sound and how it sounds you can see that it's definitely you can tell that it's definitely different from the original track all right so this is pretty much how to add the phaser effect to your sound or to your voice audio on audacity you can go over this turn from top to bottom to get acquainted with the steps and once you're done you'll be good to go i hope this video marvelously helped you search